morning. It's an early start for us today. We're taking the Drive Tribe M5 back home to Germany. We could not have come to a better place. We've brought it to the Nürburgring, and I'm gonna go for my first ever lap around the track with the best tutor in the business. Misha, thank you for having us. Is it fair to say that you are the YouTube king of the ring? Ooh, I'm gonna start blushing You've probably. Got the shoes I have the shoes. Well, when it comes to YouTube, yes, I probably am the YouTuber with the most amount of laps in the most variety of cars. Good. On average, I do like 1,000 laps a year, so you could say like over 5,000 laps so far that we had. Okay. So, yeah, I have some. I know where to go left and right. Yeah. Okay, and you're going to be adding to those laps in this car because you're going to be driving this in one of your own videos as well. And I'm super excited because it's going to be the first time I'll be driving an E61 M5 with a manual. Exactly. Yeah. So this is my first ever lap of the Nürburgring. What on earth do I need to know? Good question. I was hoping you would be a bit more prepared, but I'll guide you through the basics. So first of all, you are here during the public session, the tourist driving. Yes. So that you need to know that the basic road rules apply here as well as on the road. Okay. So no overtaking on the right. Make sure to overtake only on the left. Also make leave space for faster cars. So whenever there's a fast car behind you, don't try to block them on the ideal line, but stay on the right side. Look ahead of you, turn the indicator to the right and let them pass. Okay. One of the most intimidating things for you, probably also going to be on such a busy day, is the traffic that's coming up behind us. Yes. People with GD3 RSs, GD2 RSs, speed differences of maybe even 120 miles per hour, certain sections, okay. you know? So mirrors are all times. Yes. Basically. No, yeah, you look in the mirror and you stay on the right. The, the, that's okay. the next issue because you might be looking, okay, where's the car, where's the car, where's the car? Oh, why am I in the barrier? Because you're not looking <laughs> okay. ahead of me, you know? Okay. So that's important. And keep in mind that other cars behind you want to crash into you less than you want them to crash into you. So they will make sure to make a safe pass, you just leave them space and indicate. Communication is very important on the track. Okay. So I think that's the most important thing. And final thing is make sure to have fun. Don't try to impress anyone because there's always someone faster out there. All the records have been broken. Okay. And even if you do something impressive today, everyone will forget about it already tonight. Okay. But your mistakes, and fails, they will end up on YouTube for years and years Absolutely. to come. So, okay, I'm gonna go for a nervous pee and then we'll crack on. Let's do it. Before we head out onto the toughest track in the world, today's video is sponsored by one of the biggest supporters of the Drive Tribe channel, Car Vertical. If you are buying a car secondhand, it is vital that you look into the vehicle's history. And by using Car Vertical, you can get a complete report on a car's life, collating information from all over the globe. The report immediately tells you if a car has ever been in an accident, if it's ever been stolen, if it has outstanding finance on it, or if the mileage number doesn't quite seem to stack up. One thing I've noticed being here the last couple of days is that the Nürburgring is chock-a-block with BMW M3s. They drive on the roads in herds, and then once on the track, they seem to hunt in packs. So let's say I fancy a BMW M3 of my own to bring here next time, and I come across this one right here. I punch the registration into Car Vertical, and the report initially looks decent. The mileage, theft, and finance sections all have green ticks, so there's nothing untoward going on there. There is an amber warning in the accident section, but most cars have been involved in a little bump at some point in their lives, right? Well, I'd be very thankful for checking this car on Car Vertical because it only takes a flick of your finger down to the damage section to reveal this car's brutal history. The report states that the car was a Category S write-off in 2018, meaning that some proper structural damage was inflicted on the vehicle. And check out the corresponding photos. This M3 was full on wrecked. Front, back, sides, none of this looks vaguely straight. I'm gonna guess the owner had a bit too much fun at the exit of a roundabout, caught himself one of them tank slappers, and then a couple of barrier hits later, 
your car can look like this. Further down, there are some more recent photos taken in 2021, and this is where it can get scary because the car looks completely repaired. You might look at this car on a driveway and think it's a minter, but by using this report, by using Car Vertical, you can make a buying decision knowing fully what the car has been through. I really recommend using Car Vertical if you're looking to buy a car secondhand anytime soon because it's just far too easy to buy a car that could be downright dangerous to drive. And to make it easier for you guys, we've got an exclusive link in the description below where you will get 10% off when you use Car Vertical. You could also use it to check your own car before you take it on the scariest racetrack in the world. Thank you, Car Vertical, for sponsoring today's video. Let's get this thing on the ring. Show your hand. Are you shaking? Uh, a bit. A bit. A bit. <laughs> I've had a couple of Red Bulls this morning. That's all oh. it is. <laughs> so this is legitimately just a toll road. It is. This is the toll. And it is. You're, oh. And you're you're off. That is wild. It's a one-way, unlimited speed limit toll road in Germany. Okay. So once you're through the cones, you can start accelerating. A small speed bump here, and off we go. Now, what I quickly realized is that presenting while tackling the Nordschleifer for the first time is nigh on impossible. All I could do was settle into the car's controls, listen to Misha, and obey his every word while keeping it on the black stuff. Right side, in the bottom, start steering to the left curb and right curb. Car coming through, stay right, eyes on the road. And after that, one more car, the track goes right after this, all is good. So three, two, one, here it is, to the middle of the track and on the brakes a bit, let go, turn left, close to the left side, to the left curb, on the brakes, let go, right curb stone, and towards the left curb and stay left. Before the blue sign, you go on the brakes and blue sign, you turn in tight to the barrier. Brakes, steer, to the outside gas. Very good, good line, I like. To the right side, before orange barrier on the right on the brakes, stay right on the traffic light, brakes, more, let go, turn, left curb step. Closer, and gas. Okay, let's overtake the Marshall car. The track goes right. We're also on ideal line, so it's all good. Eyes on the road. Before sign brakes, so brakes. Let go, turn, right curb stone. Very good, to the outside gas. Very good. Going straight to the right side and then staying on the right side. And on the brakes, harder. Let go, turn in, left curb stone. And brakes, let go, right curb stone. Fast car behind, eyes on the road, let him pass, indicator to the right. Yeah, he's coming through, three, two, one. Now left curbstone, watch out for the car, yeah. Okay, one more car wants to come through, so let him as well. And then we can go to the left curb. So, left curb on the gas, it's a wagon with a cage, that's cool. Yes. <laughs> nice. All right, staying left and on the brakes. Let go, right curb, very good. To the, with some drifting, left curbstone to the outside gas, flat. Approaching a high speed section of the track now to the middle of the track on top, steer close to the right barrier and overtake the car. Stay on the gas, all good. And stay left side. Orange barrier top left is a steering point to the right curb. Lift, bit of braking, let go, right curb. Same steering angle to the outside and back to the right curb. Perfect. Middle left curb, middle left curb. That was fluke plat, so yes. that felt good. Appreciate it. <laughs> stay on the gas, very good to the uphill right part of the track. This is the fastest section of the track as well. Upshift, then to the right side, exclamation mark on the right, braking point, no five kilometer sign, and then turn into the left side on the gas. Brake on the gas to the left side. Stay on the gas, stay on the gas, stay on the gas, stay on the gas, don't do Very good. Stay left, end of the curb, hard braking. Brake hard. Very good. More, downshift third, turn. Right curb tight, not too much on the, what the f it was a brake cooling up or something <laughs> on the track. <laughs> Two cars behind. One, one more coming through. After that, one more. Track goes left, eyes on the road, then look in the mirrors. And three, two, one. Okay, right curbstone, then straight to the left side. Overtake, go past him. Then to the right curbstone, end of the curb, turn into the left curb, maintain acceleration, speed is good to the right curb. Right curb brakes, white sign, turn left. Brakes. Let go, left, over the curb if you want to. Full curb, let's go, yes, oh, the nail. Yeah. <laughs> right curbstone to the outside, straight for the blue graffiti on the wall. 
and break straight, go close to it, close to it, close to it, and left curb stone. Very good. A bit dodgy gear change there, yeah, but no problem. <laughs> right curb stone and on the gas to the outside. Very good. Flat. Good. We didn't go straight through Adenau Forest, so we're not going to end up on YouTube. At least not on someone else's YouTube. Okay, straight to the right side of the fence. Fast car behind, eyes on the road. Three, two, one, coming through, brakes. Let go, turn in, left curb stone. All good. And to the outside, or stay left. Brakes, left curb stone. Maybe we get to pass the Mito. Track goes right after this, so eyes on the road. Be prepared, and you stay on the left side. Eight kilometer sign brake and brakes. Stay left, left, left. More braking, more braking, more braking. We're staying on the outside. It gets very tight here. Gently, 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 gently. Eyes on the road. Flat. Go. Overtake. And brakes. Let go. Left curb. Left curb. Car behind. So right curb, and after that, stay right to let him pass. Very good. Perfect. On the brakes. Let go. Second right curb. So to the right curb and to the outside on the gas, go. Then staying left and brake. To add to the assault on my senses, this was the first test of the car since the cooling system had been completely renewed. So you can see my eyes darting down to the temperature gauge every so often to make sure the car was operating comfortably. White line goes left, you go right. So a bit more closer left. And now you have a nice turn in, staying right. Brake hard, stay right. More braking, let go, left curb stone. To the end of the concrete wall, opening up, back to the left side, staying left, very good. Tap on the brake, let go, right curb, and to the outside, left, and on the gas. And back to the right side, very good. So staying right, the left-hander, Lauda links ahead of us. It's a flat-out corner, so if you're comfortable enough, feel free to stay on the gas, but don't lift mid-corner. So gas, left curb, very good, staying left. On the brakes, hard, staying left, stay left, stay left, stay left, stay left, stay left, let go, stay left, stay left, right curb stone. At the curb, flat to the outside, go. Perfect. Fast the car behind, staying right, let them through. It turns out the guy in this E46 was a big Drive Tribe fan and therefore hung about to briefly check out our touring. Left three times, move over left now, stay on the gas, maintain acceleration. One, two, number three, go straight to the right, stay on the gas. And left-hander also, stay on the gas. Left curb stone, very good. Right curb, perfect. And going straight, some debris on track, so move, pass it on the left, very good. And towards the right curb stone. Then straight to the left curb, to the right curb, stay right at the right curb on the brakes, end of the curb, turn in, ignore the cars behind, let go, and left side. And to the outside, and then stay right, and eyes on the road. Stay right, let them pass. Very good, three, two, one, car next to you, second coming through. Once it comes through, do left, go left. And now right curb, no braking, to the left fence. So left side, beginning of the left curb on the brakes, stay left till the end of the curb. Brakes, staying left, a bit more braking, let go, right curb. Close to the curb, after the curb, open up to the outside, gas smoothly, flat. To the right side of the fence, ahead of you, aim for the photographer and brakes and going straight onto the carousel stay in a concrete bit at the exit the right corner of the plate should be in the middle of the car and right curb very good two fast cars behind stay right eyes on the road track those right let them pass You're coming through next to you very good the second one and brakes a bit let go left curb left curb gas and right curb at the right curb brakes end of the curb turn into the left curb so braking, let go, turning in left curb stone to the right curb stone and to the left side and stay left of the white sign 151 and on the brakes, let go right curb stone, go and gas and overtake the car while you're doing like this. Perfect, you see, left curb stone, very good. Caution, brakes, smoothly, we were staying on the outside because of him. Caution, brakes, tight left on the curb, go on the curb, all good. Go right curb, full on the curb, full on. Very good, left fence, fence brake, stay left. Brakes, let go, right curb stone. Gas to the outside, back right side, middle, brakes. More, let go, left curb, left curb, ignore the car behind for now, staying left, staying left. Brakes, stay left, let go, right curb. And here, stay right, let them pass. Okay, once he goes through, you move over to the left. 
brakes to the left a bit, let go, right curb, very good. Gas to the outside, flat. And back to the right side. Staying right till the yellow graffiti on the tarmac. And brakes stay right, left curb stone. Closer to the outside right curb, you can go on it if you want to. Then to the fence on the right, ahead of you, 169. And then left curb, left curb. Speed is fine, no braking. Left curb stone, left curb stone. At the left curb, just a bit. Actually, after the jump, we can brake. So don't brake before the jump. No, all good, brake a bit. Enough, right curb. There are so many dodgy cambers and undulations around nearly every corner here that it is clearly vital to position your car properly on track and know when to brake, but especially know when not to brake. Orange flag turning point to the right curb stone. Right curb and gas, speed is fine. Straight, very good. Right curb stone to the left side, middle of the track. Very good, very good, very good. Brake straight to the left side, more braking. Let go right curb. Staying right, very good, and it's yellow. So slow down here. Yellow light is 100 kilometers per hour, 60 miles per hour. Okay. Uh, we just stay right the whole time. Uh, we probably stay left because they're doing something here on the right. So slow down, yeah. So it looks like they're actually done with their job, hopefully. Mini carousel. Yeah. As you can see, Misha is an unreal driving coach. His incredibly calm, clear instructions, coupled with his simple hand gestures, really settled my nerves and made sure I got the most out of this first lap. Stay right. Bloody and, hell. And a big traffic jam, <laughs> again. This place makes Silverstone <laughs> seem poncy. Like, that is <laughs> unbelievable. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I hope you enjoyed. Holy crap. I'm glad I had you there because yeah. having mirrors plus all those curves and corners. And also traffic so I could tell you when is something is coming up behind. Yeah, God. Yeah. But was was it more or less intimidating than you thought? How was it for you? It, it's actually, it wasn't quite as intimidating, but mm -hmm. I think purely because you're here. Mm -hmm. Like if I was doing that by myself, mm -hmm. holy mother. Yeah. And I'm, I'm, I've got PTSD from cars overheating, so I was ah, constantly dotting it down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's good, we're all good, but I, I have to constantly like check, just my yeah, OCD yeah, yeah, yeah. has me going there. But wow, some of those sections. And it's funny, the, the what's the corner, the jump and then the right? Uh, Flans Garden. I was convinced watching all the videos that I was definitely gonna break before the jump, but I'm, but we'll, gl I'm glad yeah. you said. Yeah, like, we'll, just... we were not going fast enough to break before cool. the jump. So cool. because you already, you break slightly before that, so yeah. the speed was more than enough. We could have even taken it at the speed without braking, but it's always be safe than sorry to settle the car. Cool. So it was, no, it was good, very good. To, I, I like your driver inputs, like you're, you're smooth, you with when you need to brake, you brake actually properly. Mm -hmm. You don't cr uh, ride the brakes. It's uh, it was very good, and you're safe with traffic. You're not intimidated by others. You let them pass, and then you move in. Yeah. And like on top of uh, like when we were following E92 M3, and you were actually quite confident of doing the line and overtaking them. I think it was that guy actually. Yes. <laughs> no, it was uh, it, it was nice. It was nice. It was very good. So, I am not dreading, but it scares me to think how capable you're going to be in this car. I'm like, excited. I'm, I'm looking forward to giving it <laughs> some refs. <laughs> Good. And yes, everyone, just to be 100% clear, uh, Misha's going to be doing his own video in this car. So we'll put a link to that in the description below and you can see what this car is like when driven properly. <laughs> Let's hope we're not going to have too much traffic or yellows because uh, I really would like to unleash the beast here. Good. Misha, <laughs> thank you so much. Thank that you. That was amazing. It was amazing. I enjoyed as well. The noise and the beautiful drive, beautiful track, beautiful people. Awesome. Thank you for taking me along for this trip. Sweet. We took this car to the Isle of Man and now we've completed a lap of the Nürburgring Nordschleife. And as you may have seen in the title or thumbnail of this video, it probably says something like last drive. And that is because we are selling the Drive Tribe M5 Touring. We are selling our V10 manual estate car. The reason that we're selling it is that we feel that we've done everything we want to to this car. It could not be more sorted. So we feel it's the best time to move on to a new owner who's gonna really appreciate just how fresh this V10 estate car now is. 
This was my last drive in the car, but there will be one more video with it on the channel as Richard has asked for his own last drive before we move it on to a new owner, at which point the car will be put up for sale. Depending on when you're watching this, that video might already be published, in which case we will put a link in the description below which you can click and bid on this car. If you win it, you will have bought what we think is the best project car we've ever had on the Drive Tribe channel. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I've been Mike, and don't forget to subscribe to Drive Tribe. <laughs>